so we freshened up and now we're at still in the lie um, at the restaurant that is within our stay it's a really beautiful setting look around here it's beautiful and they have like they make their own sake here giving me an English one and what's good is that all the produce here is from within this area all fresh local ingredients so now we have a traditional dish of Nagano that has eel and mushroom in it. Mickey's excited. I've never had this before. Here we go. So now we've got some fish from this area that was just made an hour ago. But yeah, caught this morning, prepared and made one hour ago. So it's extremely fresh. Trying to imagine the fish this morning being caught. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Just woken up. Uh, morning of. Our stay at Byaku Norai, we had a really good sleep, bed was great, and it's such a beautiful morning here. Slightly raining still, but it's beautiful. It's like 7.15 in the morning at the moment. Nice, really beautiful morning, this is such a good experience. If you ever get a chance to come to Japan, I highly recommend to come up this area. Byaku Norai, it's absolutely beautiful and 100% worth it. We have a breakfast here at 9 o'clock as well, so we're going to get ready for that. We're probably going to take um, a morning bath. Breakfast just arrived, it looks amazing. Got some salmon, vegetables, miso soup, rice, naoto, other vegetables, and this is tofu. So we asked, you know, our village walking through the actual village we arrived here late last today so we didn't get a chance to walk through the actual town Village, and we are entering in a traditional part of the Kami Toya Shirokuno. 
So this place is like over 400 years old. Downstairs area. This place is huge. Some little hidden rooms and like spots. Another space here. Beautiful. It smells like so nice in here too. Oh, I'm just gonna go out to. Oh, look at this! Beautiful garden. Ah, oh, so nice and fresh. This is a really old map of the area. Kiso Kaido map. Okay. You can see like a story being told here. Throughout the time to the village. So sadly it's time to say goodbye to Nadai village, we've been walking through the village for the past two to three hours, how was it? It was beautiful. Beautiful? Yeah. Out of ten? Ten. Fifteen. People is really nice. Mm. View is really nice. Nice view, Nature. nice people. Um, yeah, the whole village has a really nice character to it and you'll find a lot of um, really like antique. Yeah. And People living here is really respect to mm. the areas and then they really want to pass the, its heritage to next generations mm -hmm. and I can see it and influenced us like we got like cards and then we each story yeah. terrain. So we've got cards from the place we stayed at that kind of uh, tell a story on each card. Yeah, yeah, we're collecting it and, and then it's them. coming up to Hyaku, yeah. like 100, mm. which is the hotel place's name. Mm. Yokan place name is Hyaku, mm. so they're making 100 of the storytelling mm. about these areas, mm -hmm. and I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful experience. Definitely have to come back again, probably maybe next year, who knows, maybe over on the weekend as well. Today was Monday, then we're filming this, so um, a lot of the stores were closed, but it was nice. Very good experience. So uh, yeah, that's Byaku Narai Village. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this one. Stay tuned. More vlogs around Japan on the way. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.